Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today we are going to be doing a very long awaited empties video. Long way? I don't know. Something like that. Um, but I have a lot of empties to show you guys. I've actually been meaning to film this for so long. I have some things that I've brought over from my old house. I carried my junk with me. Um, so yeah, I've got quite a few things to share. This is the second time filming this. I got halfway last time and gave up because I learnt that it is a very bad idea to film late in the afternoon in this room because the sun is just blaring in here and it was just not a fun time. The lighting was just so bad it was ridiculous so we're refilming again at a bit of time. The lighting is much better today. But yeah I have a lot of empties to show you guys so we'll get straight into it. I'm going to start off with makeup because that's the items that I have right here in front of me. So the first makeup item I have is this here and this is a little sample size of the deluxe sample size of the Tarte Base Tape Hydrating Primer. I loved this primer. It's super hydrating. Doesn't like make my skin look dry or anything um, but it's super lightweight as well. It's very like liquidy um, but yeah it's a beautiful primer. I would definitely repurchase this. Loved this. Definitely recommend trying it if you haven't tried it. It's really, really good for like a drier skin. Love it. Even with an oily skin, I feel like you could use this because it isn't too thick and too heavy on the skin. So I feel like it would go quite nicely with an oily skin as well. So yeah, that's a good one. I have two concealers. The first one I have is the MAC 24 Hour Studio Fix Smooth Wear Concealer. This is such, such a good concealer. You do have to work with it quite fast because it dries and it sets really fast, which is why I kind of like it because... Um, it means I don't have, don't have to use a lot of powder around my eye area. If I use a lot of powder around my eye area, it does tend to look a little bit like, like just a lot drier and I don't like that look. I like my under eyes to look really like glowy and just like skin really. So that's why I loved this and it's very full coverage as well. You don't need too much of it at all. Um, yeah, love this concealer and I think I'll definitely try this out again. I haven't yet found one that I like more than this. This is probably the best concealer I've tried. And then I've got the NARS Radi Cream Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is a deluxe sample size as well. Um, and mine is in the color Custard. I don't think I actually am the color Custard. I think this was a little bit too... Oh no, yeah, no, that one's fine. Um, but yeah, this is a really good concealer as well. Very similar to this, I find. Um, still a little bit more hydrating though and doesn't set as much. So it's not as much of a matte finish. So if you already have quite a dry under eye area, this one here would probably be a little bit better than the MAC one just because it is a bit more hydrating. So yeah, both really good. And this one here is buildable. I wouldn't say it's full coverage. It's probably like a medium coverage buildable. Um, but yeah, still a really good concealer. Sometimes it's good to have a medium finish as well because you don't want to have too much under the eyes. Um, and then I have a eyebrow pencil and this is my favorite, 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 favorite eyebrow pencil to date. And it's only $18. This is from Mecha Maxima or the brand, it's from their brand Mecha Max. It's the Brow Guru um, Micromatic Pencil. I love this. I've got it in my brows today. I've been using it for months now and I just love it and I'm going to continue to use it. It's not very often that I find a brow pencil or brow products, products in general. Um, that I knew that I really want to try because once I'm stuck with something for my brows, I just tend to stick with it because I'm very particular about my brows and if something just doesn't work, it annoys me. So yeah, I love this and it's only $18 so yeah, can't really go wrong. Definitely, definitely try it if you haven't tried it out and are looking for a good brow pencil. I also like that it's got a spoolie on the other side. Um, but the applicator, applicator stick of this is really unique. It's quite like a it's a thin, longer pencil, so it's really easy to draw in, like, defined hairs. Like, if you want a more bushy look, but you haven't got many brows like me, um, or, with, like, thick brows like I do, this is really good just to draw, like, those lines in. So I'm just staring at, like, a bunch of crows across the road. I don't know what they're doing. Oh, there's a chip packet over there. That's what they're doing. Um, but, yeah, really easy to draw in individual hairs and really good just for filling in your natural brows as well. Love it. All right, I think next we'll get into skincare. I have quite a lot of skincare products as well. So let's get straight into those. So the first thing I have is a cleanser and this is the Tatcha Deep Cleanse. This is a amazing cleanser, like my favorite cleanser ever. So good. I used to love this other one from Tony Moly that was amazing, but I just find this 
a little bit nice and not as drying because it's not foaming so yeah this is kind of like a gel consistency um and it's got slight like little beads in it i want to say clarifying japanese loofah fruit extract good for normal to oily skin i've got dry to normal skin and i still find this is fine but it's like a serum -y, um like a serum consistency with little tiny beads it's not like harsh beads though so it's not going to scrub the crap out of your skin but it is just going to like gently buff away at any skin any dry skin on the top layer of your skin without damaging your skin it's really gentle and it's fine for every day as well i use this every day um as my everyday morning cleanser and i just absolutely loved it just kept my skin area like I just kept my nose area like clear as well it wasn't as built up as what it usually would be when i use this so um before i use this so yeah absolutely love it as it is a little bit on the spooky side toucha is like one of those products that is a little bit more spendy but if you are willing to put money into your skincare it is really really great and definitely worth the money i will repurchase this i've actually got this one here that i need to try as well this is the new toucha rice wash soft cream cleanser so i don't think this has the beads in it like the deep cleanse does but yeah i'm interested to try this one out i'm just trying a couple more cleansers at the moment which is why it's still sitting down there um but yeah definitely definitely love this and if i don't find another cleanser after the ones that i've tried i'm going to get this again because it's great absolutely good the next product i have is a toner and this is the mario badescu witch hazel and rose water toner love this really great toner don't have much more to say about it in all honesty i've tried their um i've tried their sprays and in all honesty i didn't think much of them i don't know whether they're the same sort of concept is like the toners i don't know whether they're the same thing or anything like that but the toner is really nice it doesn't dry my skin out but still leaves my skin feeling like toned and just like nice and soft after using a cleanser so yeah i am a toner girl i have to use a toner after a um cleanser otherwise my skin just dries out the ph levels of my skin are just not balanced without a toner so yeah i definitely need a toner and i really love this and it's super affordable as well i think think it's 14 dollars. i could be wrong i don't think it's over 20 20 though so yeah really good price as well all right next i have a serum and this is from locked town i got sent um this and the next product from social social from social soup to try out and review um not on my youtube on my instagram and on their website so i really liked this i didn't find that it worked like i didn't find any long-term effects of the serum if you know what i mean like it kind of gave me instant gratification made my skin look super glowy super hydrated just like kind of like after you've used like a mask gives you that really beautiful like sun kissed glowy not sun kissed but like like golden look to the skin and just super hydrated and glowy and yeah it is a good um it is a really good serum it is expensive though as well and it's also um yeah no long-term effects i found of it but it is like a good serum if you like something that's going to give you instant gratification the next one i have is it's little baby this is the uh looks han motor reset reset night eye serum and this i actually really really enjoyed it out of both of these i would recommend the eye product because i found it just like really brightened up my eye area i used it it does say for nighttime i used it in both the night and um the morning in the morning when i used it i wouldn't use a cream over it because i would find it was just perfectly fine on its own and still kept my eyes um like nice and hydrated under concealer or on its own um, during the day and it just gave me that really nice like awake look underneath my eyes and that was great because i was using this like just after i had given birth to archie and wasn't getting much sleep getting a lot more sleep now which is good but um yeah this just gave me that awake freshened look underneath my eyes so yeah love this product all right so speaking of babies we'll get into a couple of baby products because i do have a few baby items in here and for the mums out there or mums to be i feel like it's quite nice to talk about these um even if you're not a mum i still love watching like baby thing videos like just watching like what other mums use on their babies so yeah even before i had archie i love doing that so i thought i would share them with you guys where is the other one going 
I'm currently sitting on my foot and it's literally gone dead. But anyway, I have I have some baby wipes. I am forever trying out new baby wipes. So actually, I'm very lucky. He doesn't have very sensitive skin, so it's his skin doesn't get irritated when I change products, which is good. So I tried a lot of different baby wipes to try and find the good ones, and I have a few that I really really love. Um, I have these ones here. These are the Baby Dove um, wipes, rich moisture wipes. These are really, really nice. However, they are heavily scented, so I wouldn't recommend these for a newborn. Um, I use these on Archie like six months and after, and I think, yeah, I really love them. They just smell really nice. Um, they're nice and soft as well. They don't irritate his skin, even though there is quite a lot of fragrance in it. Um, it didn't irritate his skin. I don't know how they would go on a baby that's got more sensitive skin, um, but for Archie, they were perfectly fine. So, yeah, if your babies, if they do say um, with instant moisturizing care suitable for newborns, um, but yeah, just know that they are like quite scented they smell like baby powder they smell really nice actually um and they are hypoallergenic and zero percent alcohol as well which is amazing alcohol dries up the skin you don't want that on your baby's butt so yeah um actually really really enjoyed this i wish they came in a bigger pack though they only come well at my Woolworths they only come as a single pack so yeah but i'm definitely gonna have to give these another go i tend to get like wipes and stuff when they're on sale because um, there's quite a few different types of wipes that I like now. So I just get whatever's on sale. And then I have these ones here. And I'm currently on my last packet of these. These are the What Not Naturals 100% um, Natural Baby Wipes. These I would recommend for a newborn. Because they are, there's like no scent to them at all. Or it is a very light fragrance. They're nice. like They're a good amount of like wetness. Um, which sounds weird, but when you have a new one, you don't want them to be too wet because I feel like some babies just react to that. Well, Archie reacted to that really bad because um, they were cold. He was kind of born, was that, he was born in February, so it was still summer, but like the wetness on his bum made him cold and he didn't like that. So yeah, um, these ones here would be good for that though because they're not too wet. They're like a good amount of moisture that it's going to get everything, um, but it's not going to be too wet. Um, too cold on his bottom. Yeah, these are biodegradable and compostable. They are vegan, gluten free, and unscented for sensitive skin. So, yeah, they are unscented. But yeah, I love these. I've bought these quite a few times now, and yeah, definitely recommended. And they are um, a supporter of the eczema association as well. So, if your bab bubs has eczema, these might be a good one to try as well. Yeah, that's all the wipes I have. I've got a couple more baby products. I have these two here. These are from EcoStore. I've talked about EcoStore before and I absolutely love EcoStore products. I've liked them for quite some time now before I had my baby. I use a lot of like their cleaning products and like dishwashing liquids and stuff just because they're like chemical free and things like that. So yeah, I have some bath products for him that are from the brand too. Um, and these are really good for a sensitive skin too. Um, well, that's what they say. Um, but this is the baby body wash. Honestly, I'll use this as bubble bath. And it made the bath really bubbly. So, yeah, that's good. We don't really, we don't use too much like, like body wash and stuff on the skin. We do usually tend to put bubble bath into the bath and then just wash them with a flannel. Um, yeah, we don't muck around with too many different like body washes and stuff like that. But yeah, we did use this in the bath. I used it on his body like a couple of times. Um, it smells amazing. All this stuff smells really amazing. This is like a lavendery kind of scent, I think. Or no, this one here is more of a sweet orange sort of scent. But yeah, this worked really well in the bath. Um, and then this one here is the bubble bath. I've bought this quite a few times. I love this bubble bath so much. And it's always on sale as well. It's always either on sale at Coles or Woolies or Chemist Warehouse. Um, yeah. And whenever I need a new bubble bath, it's always on sale. So I've just always really gone for this one. He's got a couple of other ones that we're using at the moment. So, yeah. We're taking a break from EcoStore just to give some other products a wee try out. But, yeah. Definitely good and recommend it. This is like... A lavender scent. I love lavender so much, so I love giving him a bath in this. It's just nice and relaxing for him and calming. It's nice. Oh my god, my foot is going to sleep so bad. 
all right and back to my products i have a couple of hair care products so the first one we have is the monday's hair care smooth shampoo i've also got the conditioner as well that's still in my shower because there's a little bit left um and i'm trying to get like the ends of it so yeah i love this so much it is like an amazing shampoo and conditioner you can get it from coles in australia um, and it's like ten dollars for a bottle like this size sometimes it's on sale But it's ten dollars for a bottle this size or there's a bigger size that I think is like twenty dollars or nineteen dollars or something like that um, But yeah, I really really love this and my Coles has been out of Stock of it for a really long time and it made me so sad I thought they were gonna bring it back but then I went back a couple of days ago and the stocks were the the shelves were completely stocked so i'm so stoked so when my conditioner and shampoo is out again i'll go and get monday's hair care again because i just love it the smell of it oh my god i don't know how to explain like hair scents but like you know hairdressing hairdresser shampoo and conditioner it smells like that but like a little bit softer and a little bit sweeter it's very very nice love this don't really know what else to say about it that i love it I mean, doesn't dry my hair out either. Quite a few shampoo and conditioners dry my hair out, but this one doesn't. Love it. Alright, next I have this product here, and this is from Kirsten Ice, and this is the um, Daily Scalp and Hair Mask. I wanted to love this so much. I really did. I love Kirsten Ice products. I've got quite a few of her hair care products now, and I really, really love them. But this product just didn't really do a hell of a lot for me. Um, I'd use it as a hair mask. Not really like it. There's actually still some left in here. It's that or it's water. No, it's just water in there. Okay. It smells really nice. Um, but yeah, I just like put it in my hair and it didn't really nourish it all that much. Maybe it's more for your scalp. Like maybe you just use it on your scalp. I used it as a hair mask. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It just didn't do enough for me to want to purchase it again. So yeah, I won't be repurchasing this. But there are a ton of other Kirsten Ice hair products that I would recommend. Um or love so yeah definitely recommend trying the brand out but yeah this one just didn't really work for me it's daily scalp and hair mask root to tip hydration scalp rebalancing strand strengthening frizz minimizing and smooth soothing and softening this probably would have worked better if i massaged it into my scalp a little bit more I don't know. all right and next i have a body wash with a couple of body products in here so we have the Method Coconut Rice Milk and Shea Butter Simply Nourish um, Body Wash. I love the Method body washes. I love Method products in general, like their cleaning products as well. Um, this scent is probably my least favourite out of the three of them that I know that they've got. I think they've only got three. Um, but there's a rose water one and sea salt one that I love. That's probably my favourite. It's in the pink bottle. And then there's an orange one that we've got in our spare bathroom at the moment or our main bathroom um and that is really nice too super like zesty and then this one here is the coconut rice milk and shea butter and i mean it's nice it's nice and sweet and coconutty i love coconut scents but yeah not my favorite out of the three of them but definitely definitely need to repurchase the pink one at some point because it's amazing okay next we have some um bath salts and these are the dr teal's pure epsom salt um soothe and sleep uh bath salts and i actually bought these when i was pregnant and then my friend scared me and was like oh you can't you can't really use um lavender is not good to use in your bath if you're pregnant or lavender in general um so yeah it freaked me out but i used them after and i used them up and they're really nice i love like i said before i love anything lavender scented at the moment anything that's really gonna like calm me after a long day I love so yeah i've actually already repurchased some dr teal's products um i actually got some bath bombs for archie some little lavender ones from dr teal's but um after i got them home i read the back of it and it said it wasn't suitable for a child under four so i have started using them because archie can't use them he's not going to be four for a very long time so yeah i have started using them and will probably continue to use dr teal's products i just love them and they're also really affordable i get mine from I did get that one from um, Big W, but I also got Archie's Bath Bombs from TK Maxx. So I think you can get Dr. Teal's from quite a lot of different places. Um, and then the last body product I have is a underarm, and this is the Norska Forest Fresh Ultra Protection. This was a really good um, underarm, actually. I loved this and used it for ages. 
Um, it smells really nice, smells super fresh. I usually use Mitchum products, but I thought I would just try this one out and it worked really well. Good at controlling sweat and made my underarms smell nice all day. I'm currently using um, a Mitchum one. It's the aluminum free one, what the natural bamboo stick roll up one. Um, not working as well as the normal ones. Um, so yeah, I don't know how I feel about the aluminum free ones. I know they're good for you, but like the natural ones are good for you, but like I don't want to be smelly and I don't want to be dry. I mean, I don't want to be, I want to be dry. Get your words right now, I'm not very good at speaking. But yeah, loved this, really good. It's not a natural deodorant though. Who is calling me? Okay, and we have a few like random products as well. I have a, um, what is this called? fabric softener this is so good oh my goodness um not my favorite my favorite i got the other day um i repurchased like my favorite one the other day but this one here was really nice it's more of like a um, perfume sort of scent so it's the downy premium perfume and it just smells really like expensive yeah it smells expensive and it smells like beautiful i love it it's like a perfume kind of reminds me of one million in all honesty um but yeah, it is a really nice um, fabric conditioner. I buy fabric conditioners just for literally the scent. Like I want my clothes to smell good. So, um, and my sheets, oh, this on the sheets smells really good. So I love that and definitely recommend it if you um, like something that is like a more of a perfume scent as opposed to like sweet or fresh and stuff like that. It's a really nice one. I tend to buy my laundry liquids or fabric conditioners when they're on sale at the supermarket. Um, so yeah, or if like, I find a really nice cute bougie one in the store, I'll maybe get that. But like, yeah, most of the time I'll just wait for them to go on sale in the supermarket. Because fabric condition can be spendy and I feel like it's not a necessity. So when they're on sale, I take advantage and to get it. Right, and then next we have a couple of like food, kind of, not really food, kind of food items. Um, kitchen items. Kitchen pantry items. We have the Tiora um, Herbal Infusion Peppermint and Spearmint with New Zealand Kawakawa. Loved this. Used it all up. It's not very often that I use up a tea because I literally collect teas. Love tea. Um, but this one was really nice. It still smells amazing. I need to get a new peppermint tea. Oh, strong. Um, but yeah, this is a really nice tea. I love all of the Tiora teas. I have them like kind of lined up in my um, cupboard. Uh, they're just a brand that I really enjoy and they're a New Zealand brand. So yeah. I love that. I like to support the New Zealand brands. And then I have some vitamins. These are the 99% sugar free gummies, Inner Glow Collagen Gummies. Um, for a while, I was getting um, really, really thin hair around the sides of my head. Probably didn't help that my baby was pulling my hair. I literally yanked at my hair, but these helped so much. I'm currently using the tablets from this brand, that, like the collagen tablets. But I'm finding they're not working as well. The gummies were amazing. I think it's just because I liked that they were gummies and it was like eating a lolly every morning. Um, but yeah, you do have to have take three three gummies daily and you only get 40 in a packet. So yeah, um, I will probably get the gummies again, but I'm going to wait for them to go on sale because you can get them. They go down like half price sometimes. So yeah, they're $20 usually and when they go down, they go down to 10 like $10. So yeah, I'll probably wait just because you do have to take three and there's only 40 in there. So they don't really last you all that long. Um, the tablets, you only have to take one, but like not as fun. Gummies are fun, you know. But yeah, anyway, that is all of the empties that I have to show you. Wow, that was a lot of empties. I can finally get rid of all. Honestly, I've been holding some of this stuff for so long and now I can finally get rid of it. Let me know if you want to know anything else about any of these products that I have mentioned down below. And yeah, that is all for this video. If you're new to my channel, hello, welcome. I probably should have mentioned that at the start. Not many people watch to the end of my videos, but hello if you have. Um, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more from me. I try and put out a video every week. I'm trying to get out two videos. But mum life gets in the way sometimes. Mum life comes first, so yeah. But anyway... Yeah, I would love to have you. Don't forget to subscribe um, and like this video. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. It really helps me out. But yeah, I'm going to stop rambling in this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.